I teach Introduction to Mechanics here at ANU Engineering, and I actually did my undergraduate in Canada, but I actually did nanotechnology engineering, so we deal with slightly different forces, a lot more quantum, a lot less Newtonian stuff, so I hadn't taken this course, and there was some of the content that was actually brand new to me. I had never taught it outside of a pandemic, so it didn't really change for me. It wasn't a last year we did it this way, it was just how it's gonna be. Okay, this is Noisy. This is the course assistant Noisy. She keeps everybody on track. And I initially included her because it was always gonna be impossible not to hear her in the background of Zoom lectures. Uh, but the, the students liked her and I realized that, I mean, Everybody likes her, who wouldn't like, oh yes, yes, I like you too. So we started opening up the Pets of 1217 forum where everyone's pets got to introduce themselves to the class and get some virtual pets at the beginning of the lectures. Was there a period where you didn't have the participation, you didn't have the enthusiasm that you wished, and then this kind of solved everything? Well, I think every course has amazing participation on day one. Everyone is there, you get nearly full lecture attendance but then it, it drops off pretty quickly. So we had had a couple of little jokes about uh, Unoya at first. We did a little word cloud about, you know, what it is you're hoping to get out of this course. And noisy was one of the biggest words there. So it wasn't that we had dropped off. It was that I knew that we were going to drop off because every course does. And she was, she was popular. So I thought, let's, let's use that. She has like a favorite toy, these little squeaky tennis balls and she's learned to pick up on when I'm in a Zoom meeting and need to pay attention to the Zoom meeting and she'll go scratch really noisily at the box where the new toys are kept so that I have to give her a new toy at the beginning of every Zoom meeting, otherwise she'll scratch relentlessly. So she definitely knew when the lectures were going on. And it was a new toy that doesn't have a squeaky ball in the middle. Oh, it, it does have a squeaky ball, but then she takes it to another room to, she, like, she'll just play around with it. She's much noisier when she's scratching at the box. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So she learned how to use noise to blackmail you. <laughs> yes, yes, she did. So the force vector F can be expressed using the position vector R. So R is that relative vector here. The class would submit photos of the pets that they were either isolating with or were missing because of isolation. There was one dog, actually, one of the students whose dog was generally with her through the lectures, just on her lap, and she informed me of this and that if I were to say certain words over the lecture, I could get that dog excited. <laughs> so there was that. Uh, most of the other pets were only there virtually or for short visits. So did you take her up on that and try? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> so, what were the words? Oh, just the, the normal dog words. So we'd say like, okay, I'm going to give you five minutes now to work on this problem. And just, you know, while you're sitting there and still have your volume on, walk time, walk time, <laughs> who wants to go for a walk? <laughs> and we did have a couple of other sort of ongoing little inside jokes throughout the course. So if you weren't really into the pets, we had a few other things that you could do. Um, so it wasn't required, it was just helpful in creating that environment where everyone can participate fully. Knowing that the students are humans, uh, so they're going to want some interaction like humans do. So throughout the course, that was an, an element of what we did. We were pretty casual, but friendly and there and present. So for the people who were isolated and didn't have a lot of human contact, we'd have real genuine interactions through our lectures. And Noisy says, squeak, squeak. 